I received this interesting query, why profit after tax is considered for DSER calculation, whereas PBIT is considered for interest coverage ratio. Yeah, first let's look at the formula. If you take DSER, we take profit after tax, then we add back depreciation amortization, then we also add back interest on loan. Then if there are any dividends that will be subtracted and we'll divide it by the total obligation. Total obligation is basically interest on that term loan plus principal. Here if you notice we are starting with profit after tax. Whereas if you take interest coverage ratio, we take profit before interest and taxes. Okay. Basically, it is profit before depreciation, interest and taxes that divided by interest. Why here we are taking profit after tax and why we are taking profit before interest and tax. Here also it is profit after tax but before interest. That's why we are adding the interest. Okay. So, in both cases it is before interest but question is why it is after tax here and why it is before tax. Understand in DSCR the focus is not mere interest. It also measures whether the borrower is having the capacity to repay the principal and principal got to be paid on the profits that are available after all appropriation distribution. Okay. Whereas in interest coverage ratio the focus is only the servicing of interest and here why we are taking profit before interest and taxes means the focus is tax why we are taking means the presence of interest itself will decide the tax i repeat the presence of interest itself will decide the tax so let us not worry about the tax here because interest is going to be paid even before paying the tax whereas principal have to be paid only after paying the tax let me give you a number. Let's say my sales is 100. My various expenses is let's say 50. My depreciation is 10. So 100 minus 50 minus 10. 100 minus 60 I get 40. This is the earnings before interest and taxes. From this let's say I have to pay interest of 15. So 40 minus 15 I have 25 this is earnings before tax from this I have to pay tax let's say tax is 10 it means I get earnings after tax that is 15 now I'm going to supply you very important information that is obligation we know the obligation comprises both interest and principal let's say interest is 15 principal obligation is 30 so overall it is 45 now in the formula of DSCR instead of profit after tax, if I consider EBIT let's see what will happen okay instead of profit after tax if I consider EBIT what will happen in the place of PAT I will have EBIT which is 40 plus depreciation of 10 which is 50 plus the question of adding back interest does not arise because this is before interest itself okay so that is 0 and dividend is not given minus 0 divided by interest plus principal interest is 15 plus principal is 30 so 45 so 40 plus 10 50 50 divided by 45 you will get the ratio as 1.11 so this gives rise to the conclusion that this borrower is having a repayment capacity because the DSCR is greater than 1. For paying 1 rupee obligation, he is having 1 rupee 11 paise. So there is some, some surplus, 11 paise surplus. But actually, this understanding is wrong. Why? Because we started with EBIT, okay? And we said, we added depreciation so we said the total source available is 50 but that is wrong because out of this 50 
there is going to be a tax payment of 10 right here there is a tax payment of 10 so 25 minus 10 so out of this 50 10 will go off so what will be available is only 40 so the source available is only 40 obligation is 45 so the ratio is actually below 1 when the ratio is below 1 it means there is no capacity to service the debt so understand how important it is if you go by EBIT for DSCR calculation you will be misguided okay now let's come to interest coverage ratio in interest coverage ratio we are going by PBIT only why we are going by PBIT we'll take the same numbers see I am taking PBIT is equal to 40 and I'm dividing it by interest of 15 and I'm getting the value as 2.67 times here why I am not taking earnings after tax see if I am taking earnings after tax it is after interest what is the point in comparing the profit which is after the subject matter because I'm trying to compare the profit that is available for meeting this interest so if I'm taking earnings after tax it is after deducting interest after deducting taxes okay then why not we do like this that is earnings after tax plus interest why not we do like this your tax figure is itself decided by interest then why you bother about it look at here you had a bit of 40 the presence of interest 15 has brought down the profit to 25 and since because your profit is 25 your taxes is 10 if there is no interest then your EBIT would have been 40 your profit before tax also would have been 40 and obviously your tax figure would have been greater than 10 okay so the tax is not going to affect the payment of interest because tax figure itself arrived only after paying the interest okay whereas tax will have effect on payment of principal but tax will not have effect on payment of interest because it is the interest which decides the tax itself okay so that's the reason we don't even do like this that is we won't even say earnings after tax plus interest we simply take earnings before interest and taxes it will also be taken as earnings before depreciation interest and taxes that will be compared with interest because absolutely tax has no role when it comes to comparison of these two items thank you for watching this video hope you liked it if you wish to learn more on this topic do check our comprehensive online course i have given the link in the description below if you like this video lecture do not forget to click on that like share and subscribe button with bell icon